Hello, and welcome to today's tips, tricks, and best practices for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. My name is Michael Dodds. I'm a support consultant here at Ledgeview Partners. Today's topic is how to set up a new user for Dynamics CRM. Whenever a new employee starts and you want to make sure that they have access to Microsoft Dynamics CRM, you're going to want to follow the next steps to make sure that they're set up properly and they can use the use CRM efficiently, effectively, without any setup concerns. So let's jump into the CRM, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set up a new user and to get them set up the first time. So we're going to jump into CRM, and from CRM, I recommend setting up a new tab and navigating to portal.office.com, which will bring you into this section. And you're, one, I'm gonna, you're going to want to click on the admin button. So when you click on the admin button, it's going to take you to your portal. It's your Office 365 Admin Center. So once you're in this section, this is your home page, you want to make sure that you have enough licenses to add to give to the new users. So if you go to the billing section and then licenses and look for the Dynamic CRM Online Professional, you're going to see that we have 25 valid and only 5 assigned. So we have 20 left that we can give out. So our next step is to go into users and then active users. Sometimes you'll be adding a new user to CRM, but they're already set up in your in your portal because they could be using um, SharePoint or Office 365 in another capacity. In that case, you won't need to create a new user. You could just add the license to an existing user. For today's tips trick video, we are going to add a brand new user. So we're going to click on the Add User and this will bring up the new user section. So we're going to add a brand new user and we're going to type in their first name and their last name. And this is, the display name is going to be a combination of their first name and last name. Then their username, I highly recommend going with the first portion of their email address just because it's very easy for them to remember. So, for instance, if it's the first letter of their first name and then their full last name, we would do J. Smith, and then it would be at whatever my org name is. So, in this case, it's mdodstest8.onmicrosoft.com. Location is the United States. And then we can add in new contact information. So, their job title. So if they're a sales representative, you can add this information in here. The more information you add, hit, add in here, the less steps you need to take once you go into CRM within their users because it will pull this information, most of this information over. They have a department. You can enter that department. You have different offices that can be listed here as well. The office phone will pull over into CRM. So if we want to list their phone number and then any mobile phone or fax number and same thing with their street address. So I'm just going to type in generic information here. And this will pull over into CRM. So now that we have all this set, password, I recommend going with an auto-generated password that's set to them. It's going to be sent to their email address, and I recommend making the user change their password when they first sign in. And then you can also set their role for Office 365. Now, please keep in mind that the individual setting up new users needs to have proper Office 365 access, so they can have a customized administrator role or they can have a global administrator role. Global admin means that you can change anything within Office 365. 
And then the last piece is their product licenses. And you want to make sure that you click on from off to on from Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online Professional. And then leave all of these checked unless for any reason you want to pull away social engagement or marketing sales collaboration. And then you click add. This will add the brand new user and this is you can set the email address that you want to send the password to. So it's going to send all this information to them and it's going to ask them to change their password to something they can remember once they log in for the first time. So then you'll just click on send email and close. And now your brand new user is set up within CRM. To navigate back to CRM from your portal, click on this grid box up in the top left, and then click on CRM. So this will pull you back into CRM, as you can see, and it'll pull you right into the settings section. So right from the settings section, all we need to do is we need to go to security from our drop down area for settings and then go to users. And there's going to be a couple of new things that we're going to need to add for John Smith. And there are times where it's going to take a little bit of time for John Smith to fully move over into CRM. There's times where it's immediate and other times where it does take a little bit of time. So you can click on the refresh button to see if John Smith pulls in. And as you can see, it only took about 30 seconds for John Smith to pull in. So we're going to double click and open John Smith. And once he fully loads, because it's going to pull in all that inf bunch of the information that we had in Office 365 into here. As you can see, his first name, his last name, his title, his email address that we listed pulled in his main phone number. We didn't enter any mobile number or fax number, so that information doesn't pull in. I recommend entering his manager. That way, if you ever decide to use hierarchy or any of the advanced pieces within CRM, they're already set up with a manager. Business unit, this is very, very crucial. It's going to automatically default to a business unit. In this case, I only have one business unit, so it defaults to this business unit. But if you want to change it, you can change that right here by simply clicking on it, deleting it, and searching a new business unit. It's going to automatically pull in this queue information and then that address information that we pulled from the Office 365 user. So really the last things we need to do is make sure all the information is correct and any other phone information that we need. But most importantly, we want to click on Manage Roles. And we want to assign them a role. If you don't assign a new user a role, they will not be able to access CRM and they will be given an error. What I recommend doing is checking the security role of someone in a similar position and then choosing that role for this new user. In our case, this is a new salesperson. So we're going to click on salesperson and then click OK. So when John Smith logs in, he will have the security access of a salesperson. I do recommend if you're utilizing email through CRM, where you're sending out emails or through workflows. I recommend your next step being going to an email configuration, mailboxes, and then once you're in mailboxes, clicking on the new user, so changing this to active mailboxes, and then we can search for John. So here's John Smith. We're going to make want to make sure that we approve their email. So in this overflow menu, these three dots, click on approve email. And that must be done by a global administrator. 
So someone who probably set them up as a new user would be doing this portion as well. And then checking their name and doing test and enable mailboxes and checking the sync button. This will then complete the email configuration portion just to make sure that their email has been approved and tested, tested and enabled. That's all for our topic today. Thank you very much for attending and I hope you have a wonderful day. If you are ready to learn more, there are additional tips, resources, and information at ledviewpartners.com. Below is our contact information. Feel free to contact us. We are always happy to help and make CRM work the best for you. Have a great day.